I want to make a rant video about something, something that pisses me off that I have to talk about, and that is stop buying from mediocre game series that you no longer care for or have issues with. And I see this all the time, and it still happens. What I basically mean, well, you see it all the time, whether it's Far Cry or like Call of Duty or Assassin's Creed, a lot of these game series that have been around for a while, I always see a lot of people talk about how these franchises have fallen off and that the new games aren't that good and they're just not good anymore as they used to be. And yet some of the people who say this shit, they keep buying from these franchises and they keep buying the new entry that comes out. And I'm so fucking tired of seeing this shit, okay? If you really think a franchise has fallen off and it's just gotten bad, why the fuck are you still buying it? Why are you still buying games from it? It makes no fucking sense. You know, you got to send a message to the developer and publisher and not buy the goddamn game. You know, let me give you an example for myself. Dead Rising 4, I didn't buy Dead Rising 4 day one. I bought it way later pre-owned and GameStop got the money, not Capcom. Because I didn't want to support Dead Rising 4. Because Dead Rising 3 was disappointing and Dead Rising 4 was not what I wanted from Dead Rising. So I didn't support it. And that game failed. Thus, we didn't get more of that shit. And, you know, what I don't understand about some of you gamers out there is you'll continue, you continuously sit there and say, you know, all this shit about Far Cry or Assassin's Creed and Call of Duty and a lot of these series, you'll say that they've fallen off and that the new games are just mediocre and they suck now. And you'll do like rant videos and you'll review each entry that comes out and say, this shit sucks. They've fallen off. The series sucks. And yet you still fucking buy from it and you still buy the new entries from it. I don't get that. To me, it makes no sense, and I don't know why. why. Why do you still buy from it? If you don't like the franchise anymore, and you feel like it's fallen off, stop buying it. You have to vote with your wallet. I am so tired of seeing this shit. It's like, it's like some people don't realize what the hell they're doing. It makes no sense. I don't get it. You, know? you can't sit there and constantly say, this franchise has fallen off, or they keep making more mediocre entries, and then you fucking turn around and keep buying this franchise every time there's a new game that comes out. Angry Joe does the same bullshit. I always see, every time a new Madden game comes out, you always see Angry Joe do a fucking rant video, and he reviews the yearly Madden, and he says, it's just the same shit. It sucks. Look, it's okay to criticize a game and point out its flaws and rants, but if a franchise continues to show that it's not what you want, then why do you still support it? Why do you still buy the next entry when you know you're not happy with the series? Why do you still support it? You should vote with your wallet to send a message to the developer that that's not what you want. And I don't know why some gamers do this. Like I said, Angry Joe is a perfect example. He does that bullshit. Motherfucker always reviews and rants on the yearly Madden and claims that this Madden and this Madden, every time he reviews the yearly Madden, he claims it sucks and it's bad. You know, but he still buys Madden every time it comes out. It's like, dude, you're making yourself a part of the problem that you have an issue with. You have an issue with Madden and how they handle the Madden games now. But yeah, Angry Joe, you still buy them. You buy them every single year and still support it, which is so stupid. It's fucking stupid. Why? I don't get it. You know, and I, I don't understand it. You know, I don't get it. And it makes no fucking sense to me. If you think a game series or, you know, in general with a game series, if you feel like it's getting mediocre and you feel like it's just not good anymore, stop fucking supporting it. Like I said, I, I had to make this rant video because I am so fucking tired of seeing this shit. I'm sick of seeing it. It's just, it, it's pissing me off and it's annoying the hell out of me. I am tired of seeing this shit from some gamers that want to sit there and say, I'm tired of this franchise and it's mediocre entries. This series has fallen off. And every time a new entry comes out, they'll make rant videos about it. And they'll talk about how bad the game is or how mediocre it is. And yet they're still lined up to buy the next entry and the next entry and still support it. Why the hell do you do it? You should vote with your wallet, not buy it, and not support it. I'll never understand this mindset and mentality. It's almost like, I don't know, it just it makes no sense to me. You know, you should not support this stuff to send the message you don't want it. You know, it's kind of the same thing with... Um, like with Resident Evil, Renegade Operative, he made a rant video about some of the RE purists. You know, they're, 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 you know, this is a good example. There's some people out there with the Resident Evil community where, you know, every time a new Resident Evil game comes out, they criticize it or they have something to say about Resident Evil, how Capcom's handled the series, how it handled the survival horror. 
and yet they, they're still, like every time a new Resident Evil game comes out, these RE purists, which are basically a, a, a group of Resident Evil fans that constantly have something to say about the, you know, newest Resident Evil entry and how Capcom is handling it and stuff, every time, they're always lined up to buy it. Every single Resident Evil game that comes out, they're around to buy it, they're around to talk about it. You know, it's like, it's like if you have an issue with Resident Evil or the way Capcom's handling this, and you're constantly criticizing and stuff, why are you still here supporting it? It makes no sense. That's another good example of that shit that Renegade Avatar talked about in his Ari Pierce rant. So yeah, that's what, that's all I wanted to say overall. I just think it's fucking stupid. You know, to me, it's dumb. You know, stop, stop supporting game franchises that you deem mediocre and not good anymore. I'm tired of seeing it. I've seen it from, like, uh, Synth Synthetic Man, for example. I like his videos, but... He did a new video about Far Cry 6 being mediocre. It's like, dude, you just, it's like, it's like, dude, you're fucking stupid. You made a video reviewing Watch Dogs Legion, and then you made a video reviewing Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and you said both games weren't that great and mediocre, and Ubisoft's falling off. So why the hell would you buy the Far Cry 6 if you know those two games from Ubisoft were poor attempts and poor efforts? And you're going to buy Far Cry 6 and talk about all this bullshit and rants about it, yeah, you're supporting it. You're not sending the message to Ubisoft, which is not to buy it. It's ridiculous. And, and even in the Far Cry 6 video, I didn't watch it, but in the description of the video, see, I seen some shit about how idiots will buy it or something. It's like, that's another thing I hate. Some of these people that, like, rant about a mediocre game or a mediocre series, you know, they're supporting it, even though they don't like it or, you know, they have issues with it. They will support it, but then they'll try to turn around and say, you know, this franchise is getting supported by idiots, even though they're buying it themselves. You know, it's stupid. I'm tired of seeing it. But yeah, that's all I got to say with this rant video. You know, yeah. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit the notification bell. That's it.